Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Wednesday afternoon, late afternoon here, early evening, September 4, 2024, about 6.13 p.m. California time. Jumping in here with a uh, quick update on a large earthquake coming into the Earthquake 3D globe, a 6.0 earthquake around Papua New Guinea. Just coming in within the last few minutes here, about 27 kilometers deep for this earthquake. Uh, seismograph stations all over the place are starting to pick up this earthquake. So I'm thinking that's going to be a little bit bigger than a six pointer. I mean, look at uh, Philippines picking it up, Japan picking up, picking that up as well. More than likely going to be around the 6.5 range. Uh, USGS not picking up on it yet. Uh, again, this is from the EMSC model. Let me show you guys the earthquake map here from the EMSC on the flat scale model earth here. There is that six pointer. Uh, again, it looks a little bit bigger uh, on the seismograph stations here than uh, a six-pointer. Shown up in the Philippines and Japan. Uh, that's the primary wave. There are also a couple earthquakes showing up in Southern California as we speak. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna guess this one's a little bit bigger than the six-pointer. Uh, USGS not picking up on any earthquake activity at the moment uh, so let's go ahead and take a look here at southern california see what's rocking and rolling out here uh, a couple earthquakes in the last hour really picking up though in terms of earthquakes warming across the nevada area today We've got about uh, 73 earthquakes in the vicinity of our earthquake swarm here in the last 24 hours just outside of tonopah uh, that brings a number here well over 200 earthquakes in the last seven days of uh, all magnitude so something big brewing out here along the west coast i think what we're seeing out here mainly due to all the stress out here across the plate boundary we're starting to see some inland stress areas that uh, are away from the plate boundary but uh, uh, are close in proximity uh, as far as these fault systems go these intra intraplate fault systems uh, that can't see uh, some large earthquakes away from the plate boundary uh, so yeah, Nevada definitely picking up. Uh, Southern California definitely got to watch here uh, because they have been somewhat elevated here recently. Got a little earthquake into the Delta area, 1.6 Northern California. Uh, let's see here, nothing yet from the USGS map or the uh, USGS earthquake map here. As you can see, uh, nada, zip zero. But goodness, there's definitely a sign of a large earthquake coming in. And it, again, it looks a little bit bigger than a six-pointer. So we'll just have to see uh, what this comes out to. Some of the stations look like they're offline for some reason, but uh, uh, we'll keep an eye on them, see if they don't come back here soon, hopefully. But it uh, looks like Philippines, the uh, closest one, picking it up. New Zealand is down here. Uh, really surprised New Zealand's not picking it up. A little odd. That may be a different type of uh, uh, seismograph station. They're only picking up strong motion locally, uh, which can uh, be incorporated to different seismograms. I really want to see what the USGS is focusing on here. See what kind of magnitude they are putting out. EMSC staying pretty steady with a six-pointer. Now... This earthquake has not been reviewed by a seismologist yet, so it could get revised. Uh, these are some of the data providers bringing in the preliminary magnitude here of 6.0. The British folks, uh, Germany in there as well, Spain, Malaysia, and then the EMSC France model. Nothing from the USGS map yet, though. Kind of odd, taking a little time out there. Hope everyone's enjoying their uh, Wednesday. Another hot day out here in Northern California. I think we hit about uh, 107, 108, somewhere around there. We got uh, a couple more days of hot weather coming up before a cool down next week. Look at that. A couple earthquakes up there in Southern California. This is a Barrett station. Notice how when one area of the plate moves uh, th that we start to see other adjustment take place thousands of miles away here. So we're getting a little bit of uptick here in Southern California following that event that just stirred up across the Pacific here around the Papua New Guinea area. Nothing showing up yet, though, from the USGS model. So um, whatever it is, uh, I will adjust the magnitude accordingly. 
But uh, for this update video, 6.0 coming in. Papua New Guinea area, not going to be any type of tsunami statement with this earthquake. Just a real quick glance here at the Tsunami Warning Center. Um, this earthquake 6.6 .6 was put out uh, a few days ago here. That's from a, a previous earthquake there around the Solomon Islands area. But uh, as of right now, not a nothing showing up here from these guys. So we'll go with the 6.0 unless it gets adjusted following the update video, which it probably will. I'm, I'm judging a little bit higher of a magnitude out here. We'll catch you guys back out here tonight. We'll cover all this and more in the uh, Wednesday night update. Stay safe out there, folks. And, uh, yeah, just be prepared. A lot going on out here.